Uh, what's up, guys? You know what it is. It's back. We're back here with the weekend edition. We are. This is Insanely Chill Podcast. Back with Noel, unfortunately. Mm. It's oh, just, my booking you know. agent keeps keeps booking him for some reason. <sighs> my rate is just too good. <laughs> free. Yeah, free. <laughs> you pay me to be honest. Yeah, pretty pretty much. <laughs> free 99 plus tax. <laughs> um, well, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah. Um, I pitched <laughs> last time on the last episode. Sorry, I'm a little bit hungover. Yeah? A little bit. Did you have a good night? I mean, it wasn't even that. I mean, it was fun. It was fun. We go to this place called The Brig. Yeah. On Abikini. Yeah. Yeah, you've been there, right? I'm, I've never been there, but I've, I've, every time I drive by it, I see the line of people. I'm like, yeah. There's never really a line. What? It's yeah. always a fucking like. No. What? No, I don't know what bar you're thinking about. That's why we go there. Oh. Well, no, maybe we just go too early. We always like, we'll go like at like five for happy hour and then just yeah. stay till yep. like two. Yeah. Yep. And it's so interesting seeing the evolution of a bar <laughs> or like, it's like just oh, like sure. the course of the night. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, we get more drunk. You just see the whole place. Like the sun goes down. The, the fucking DJ all of a sudden will come on and start playing like weird music at the very beginning. And yep. then by the end of the night, she's playing like Lil John. Right. You know what I mean? And people yep. are just turned the fuck up. <laughs> and then they start playing the nineties shit. Yeah. And you start feeling bad about yourself. I mean, usually by that point, I'm way, just like way too drunk to. Got it. I make sure I'm sober enough to groove, <laughs> shake my hips a little. <laughs> You're in the middle of the dance floor, just yep. bone sober. Yep. The only one just fucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, this is how you do it here, see? Are <laughs> uh. you up on that liquor now? Nah. We got to We got to Shake it around, baby. <laughs> <laughs> see the way I do that there? What the fuck is this? I don't, I don't know. What is this character? I've never been laid, so. I've never felt the touch of a woman, yeah. unfortunately. That's not a character. That's real life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we fucking, we were at this bar last Saturday that had a damn swing dance. Like, oh, so no. the first floor was normal. Yeah. This bar downtown. Actually, it wasn't really that normal. It had a giant tree in the middle of the bar. Cool. That I guess, I don't know, was natural. Yeah. Did trees used to grow in downtown LA? I think so. Really? I think there was like dirt and yeah. other elements. And foliage? Yeah. So There was life. Yeah, at one point. Now there's not. <laughs> Zero. Because <laughs> everyone is dead inside downtown as Just well. Just in LA in general. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so there's this giant fucking tree in the middle of the bar. Okay. Uh, which is kind of cool, honestly. It's like, yeah. You ever been to the Soho house? No, I'm ah, not that cool. There, there we go. I'll douche myself again. Yeah, there you go. You, you ever been to the Soho house? <laughs> I just have um, to say that's been most of our friendship is subtle flexing. <laughs> like, have you done this? I'm like, no, never, never done that. Have you felt the touch of a woman? No, never done that either. <laughs> I've been in a relationship for six years. She still hasn't touched me. Her boyfriend's really cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. Welcome back to the cuck zone, everyone. <laughs> the cuck hour. The cuck hour. Um, uh, did you focus this thing? I uh, focused it on you. Okay, that's about, probably better. So I could obfuscate my... What is that little symbol showing up there? Uh, I don't know. Well, whatever. We'll Who trust cares? it. Yeah. So anyways, giant tree. Giant middle tree. Middle of the thing, right? Yep. Cool, whatever. Normal bar otherwise. You're drinking, everyone's having fun, whatever. You go upstairs, it's carpeted. Oh. And the whole, like the bartenders are in like like weird bartender suits. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Like a vest with the bow tie. Oh, old timey. Oh yeah, like some 50s. speakeasy shit. Yeah, some speakeasy shit. <laughs> and there's a whole swing dancing thing, like live music. And it's like oh, swing dancing. Stop it. Like it felt like yeah. the the basement of the Titanic, <laughs> <laughs> or like something out of La La Land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Super fucking white and just yeah. weird. <laughs> swing, swing is top fifteen whitest activities on earth. Yeah. That's what it reminded me when you were. No, I guess it didn't really. What the voice you were doing before oh. wasn't that. At no, all. that wasn't white at all. Yeah, that was like a, the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like my friend's uncles. <laughs> Come over here, baby. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Mm. <laughs> I remember one time when I was working at Best Buy, <laughs> uh, I said something about there's this rep he'd come in, super polished dude, and. Uh, I, I was in I was in dress clothes for some reason. He had some really baller shoes on, and I was like, I was like, "Yo, what kind of shoes are those?" He goes, "These are Stacy's, baby." And he just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "State what? what? The Stacy own? Oh, Stacy Adams, got it." Wait, what? Stacy Adams? Adams. It's like a shoe like brand. <laughs> I only knew that because he yelled at me. These are Stacy's, baby. <laughs> then he ran away. Like, who is Stacy? Yeah, I don't. I and don't, why are you? Why'd you steal her shoes? Please come back. I'm from the suburbs. <laughs> I want to be cool. What is that, Stacy's? I'm gonna write that down. Look that up. Um, at the brig. Brig. 
Back to it. Back the to the brig. Mm-hmm. I, Did you this has nothing day? to do with shoes at all. No. But I had it in my mind, and I'm trying to get better at coming back to things. Yeah. Because I was talking. To, now I'm going to come back to. I'm going to yep. come back to what I was going to say about the brig. <laughs> but I was talking to the 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 intern. The guy is coming up today. Yeah. Or yeah, he's coming up tomorrow actually. Mm-hmm. And he was like, uh, basically, he was like, yeah, I watched your I watched your podcast with uh, Danny Duncan. Why didn't you ask him? Or no, he goes. He goes, did you find out who Kevin was? Because Kevin is like his friend that's in all of his videos. He's yep. like this little Filipino kid. Yeah. That they like shave his head and do all this crazy shit. Huh. And I was like, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to fucking ask him. And he was like, no, I know. He's like, I watched the podcast. You said you were going to come back to it. And as soon as you said that, I just knew it wasn't going to happen. And I was like, no. It's the damn reputation I have now. Yep. Anyways, going back to the break. Did <laughs> so, you have a good night? No. So they had, the, I did have a good night, but just because they have this shit. It's called froze. Now, it's not a normal froze. When I say that, you think frozen rose, which is what it normally is. Okay. Right. You ever had that? No. You ever had rose? No. I'm a big rose fan. I hate, I don't fuck with champagne. It's not champagne or whatever, any of that light just sparkling alcohol in general. wine. No. It's not light sparkling wine. Whatever the fuck it is, it just looks like weak. Looks weak. Yeah. It always comes in like a pretty bottle. Like it's just like I I just know you have to drink the entire thing to get half drunk. No, what you dude, you you take one sip and be drunk. Really? Yes. That's strong. You have the tolerance of a baby deer. I mean, listen. A baby goat. Most people should be drunk from point three <laughs> shots. Okay. Leave me what alone. Are you, what are you saying? I'm saying that you have a problem. <laughs> I'm not the problem. Anyway. So, so anyways, froze. It's called froze. Now, normally that's just rosé. They put it in like a Slurpee machine and, huh. and it's frozen, right? Cool. The Brig does it a little bit differently. They put in <laughs> like fucking, it tastes like a, it tastes like a, like a strawberry daiquiri with oh. cocaine in it. It's oh. crazy. Oh, now you have my attention. Keep it's going. It's so good. <coughs> it's like drinking a fucking Jamba juice that gets you fucked up. I see. I can fuck with that. And so we're just slamming them. Once you get one in, it's like, yeah. yo, dude, I just got to keep going. It's like <laughs> yeah. drinking a milkshake. Yep. <laughs> You know, when you go on vacation, you just get a strawberry daiquiri. No. Yeah, but, I don't either. Actually, I don't get those. But to that point, last time I was in Cancun, uh, did, I, did I tell you about this? This dude comes up to me and like my friends or whatever, and he's like, do you want a drink? I'm like, yeah, of course. It's all, all inclusive. Of course we want a drink. He's like, okay. He comes back with this drink. They're just all different colors. Okay. He just hands them out. Okay. I'm like, mm, maybe we should have got a name or like something. <laughs> like I'm feeling like. This is this is kind of weird. <laughs> like, what are these colors? Yeah, like, blue, blue, green. Yeah. <laughs> so he brings one back that's like blue and red, and I'm like, "What's this?" He goes, "Uh, Ooh. Superman," and he just like walks away. <laughs> he just called that's his name for the drink. <clears throat> so I drink one. I'm like, "Holy fuck!" It tasted like cotton candy, but like not enough that it's annoying, but enough to keep like drinking more. Yeah. Did like three of those, and I'm okay. like, "I'm properly thrashed right now." So, which means there's probably no alcohol in it, but <laughs> I don't know where I was going with this. Just flavored You're drinks. You're like, I'm wasted. He's like, oh, no, no. This, 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 so, <laughs> Superman virgin. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, totally. And I think it's just uh, flavored drinks. It's easiest way to get. It's the only way I like alcohol, really. That or tequila. You were I, you were a little bit drunk on, it was your birthday on Saturday. It was. It was everyone was Noel's birthday. Yeah. If you didn't know that, go on his Instagram right I, now I'm and tw- write happy birthday. I'm 21. It's crazy. Finally 21. Finally. Legally, legally able to drink. Mm. And you did. You had a few pops, didn't you? I did. You had a few I, pops. I had, we, he was, he was, uh, he had his birthday at this place called the Lincoln. Mm-hmm. And uh, we went and we were going to go. And then the line was fucking so goddamn long it's because stupid. that place is popular now. Yeah. It's stupid. It, and, and, and the crossover, it's not like a gradual. Like, you're there, you look around, you're like, there's three people in here. And you turn around, you turn back, there's a hundred. Yeah. Like, there's no... Oh, it's because in fucking America, it's like everybody goes out at 10.50 p.m. Yep, exactly That's the time it. everyone <laughs> gets to the bar. <laughs> it's so true. Because <laughs> we got there at 10.30, <clears throat> and we were fine. We yep. walked right in, and you showed up at 10.50. Later. 10.50 p.m. Goodbye. Everyone shows up to bars. <laughs> That's the time every Uber... See ya. Every Uber picks you up at 1045. And then they, dude, on the way to the Lincoln, I look over at this Uber and I see this Uber driver. Like, obviously no one can see me doing this, but if you can imagine just a guy like blabbering and moving his hands, like the driver, the dude in the back seat just had his head pressed up against the window. Like he could tell he was getting talked to <laughs> death by this Uber driver and he was dying in there. I just wanted to reach out and be like, we have a seat in this one. Come yeah, with us, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I was talking on the last episode about 
um, our sketch idea about the self-driving Uber that talked to you. <laughs> just the I was like, we're never going to make this sketch. So yeah. I might as well just fucking talk about it. The bro. Yeah. The bro. <laughs> Uh, is that what it is, right? Like, no, it's like it's like the Uber, like because self-driving Ubers, the whole thing was that there's no driver to fucking talk to, oh, you, right? Oh no, yeah, but it still talks. So you get you in, and it's like it's like <laughs> it's like how's your day going? You're like, uh, yeah. uh, it's fine. He goes, yeah, I don't know. I love driving for Uber. You know, I get to make my own hours. And oh <sighs> god damn it, <laughs> this Prius has a personality. <laughs> Shit. Ah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you yeah. came out of the Lincoln. I came out of the Lincoln to see us in line to visit us in line, and you were wobbling. I was a little you had bit. A few pops. You were like, "Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, my birthday." You came out. You're like, "What's up?" <laughs> you threw up. You threw up. <laughs> Didn't throw up. <laughs> you came up. Hey, these are Stacy's baby. These are Stacy's baby. <laughs> <laughs> this how you do that here, boy. Uh, I was like, "Yo, no, I was uh, like fucked up." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was there at the Lincoln until three in the morning dancing. They're like, this guy's got to go. <laughs> this guy, He's just got sir, to leave. The lights are on, man. I'm Nobody's like, here. Now you can see me move. <laughs> see the Stacys go to work. <sighs> <sighs> these are Stacys, baby. These are Stacys, baby. <clears throat> you got to fucking put, a sh- put that on a shirt. Yeah, these are Stacys, baby. That'd Yo, be- if, you want, if you guys want Noel merch. Yeah, let me know if you want merch. Yeah. I want to make a dad hat that says, I like titty meat. <laughs> what? Just makes no I sense. I like titty meat? Yeah, just I like titty meat. Or maybe just, just as titty, titty meat. meat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what? that'd be the best, you know what I mean? I think that's our next song, Titty Meat. Titty Meat? Yeah. Girls, show me that titty meat. That titty meat. That, I'm just stealing uh, D4L. Fucking... What's Laffy not? Taffy? Oh. Or, <laughs> something so that titty meat. Hey! That, that titty, titty meat. meat. So that titty, titty meat. meat. That titty meat. There's all that titty meat. Whenever I hear that song, I'm reminded of this video on the internet of this big girl on a like a mechanical bull. Yeah. And the operator's just like fucking with her. Like to that song. Okay. Like he's just jiggling it a little bit. <laughs> and he's like making her dance like to the song. It's so good. <laughs> I got the hook. I got the hook for our uh, next song. Yeah. What is I want to do like a like a whisper, the whisper song style. Like a beat like that. Like boom, boom. Yeah. And it's like Dreaming of the pussy, that's a cat nap. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so bad. It's so bad that it's going to work. It's that's what I'm happen. saying. That's yeah. just going to blow up, dude. You know what we should Keep do? It. If we make a song called Cat Nap, know that right now, this is when I came up with it. Okay. Dreaming of the pussy, that's a cat nap. Hey. So to that. It's a cat nap. I want to do a Dreaming song. Dreaming of the pussy, that's a cat nap. About screaming in the club <laughs> to have a conversation. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because yeah. talking in the club is never sexy, right? Yeah. Oh, like, no, not at all. Hey! <laughs> Who are you here with? <laughs> what? Who, who am I? Sh- what? Do you want a drink? <laughs> so he's like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what? I do. I said, never mind. I'll see you later. <laughs> that guy was an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. He called me Chinese or something. I don't, I don't think that's what he said. <laughs> that was the last night, man. The music was so loud. And like these two these two girls were behind us. They were so hot. These like model hot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I think someone like Colby or someone went up to like try and spit game. Okay. And just said something ridiculous. Like, hey, do you guys want some Frosé? And they were like, what? <sighs> First of all, you should never admit to drinking Frosé. Even, yeah. even though they can see it in the cup, it's clearly like, why are you drinking a smoothie? In Got it the from bar? somebody. Why are you doing that? Got it from somebody. But to, yeah, exactly. But to <laughs> offer it to a girl oh, no, yeah, no. to have some of mine. <laughs> hey, this is Frosé that I bought with my money. I'm a man holding Frosé in a bar. Would you like to split it with me? Yeah. Bad. Yeah. All around, just a bad thing to say. Yeah. Somehow it fucking worked. I don't know. These <laughs> girls were talking to us, but it eventually became just like, Yo, do you live in Venice? <laughs> 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 do I want it? <laughs> do I? What did you say about your penis? What is the penis? <laughs> I, something penance? I'm not religious. I don't know. I don't go to confession. <laughs> no, I don't know. Lennon is. I don't like the Beatles. John Lennon. <laughs> Fuck. What? I'm not Soviet. You eat, asshole. Do I eat fennel? <laughs> Fuck fennel. I'm vegan. What? I just. Fuck fennel. 
Fuck fennel, dude. I was just at this fucking place. Is actually what I, I wanted to bring this up today with you. <clears throat> was at this place today uh, eating breakfast. It's called Justa. You ever been there? I always hear about it. Yeah, it's like by the same people that own Jelena. And I was like, it is really good, but it's just a little bit too much. It's it a little bit too much with the with the just. I, they put fucking collard greens on my on my breakfast sandwich. You see, man. No. <laughs> It's, it's just, just not. Weird. I mean, the place. It, it was good. Yes, but it's like it's unnecessary. I feel like they just do that shit because yep. it's like no other place does it like this. Yep. You know what I mean? We're so unique. <laughs> you, you know what I hate? What just to that point? <clears throat> I hate herbs. Like I feel like West LA places do that, or just LA places in general. You'll get a smoothie and they'll drop herbs on the top. I'm like, why would you put earth? <laughs> I bought this because it tastes nothing like earth, and you put fucking earth in there. <laughs> now it tastes like shit. And mentally, it will taste like shit at least because of this whatever. Because anyway. of this fucking earth that you dusted on the top. Yeah, Juusta. Was that, is it a breakfast spot? It sounds like a Jamba Juice. It's, no, it's like a, yeah, it's like a breakfast and lunch spot. Okay. But that's not what I was going to say. So I just reminded me because I was eating there this morning and I was like, why is there fucking collard greens on my, I thought it was kale at first. It was some cur- cooked vegetable. And I was like, this is really weird. It's an egg, bacon and egg sandwich. Yep. It's like a very simple thing. Very hearty, simple breakfast item. Then you got to go and put greens yeah, on it. Doesn't need it. Weird salad cooked, <laughs> cooked green. Shouldn't be a single green as a color should not be on, <laughs> on my breakfast, breakfast sandwich, yeah. on breakfast in general. Um, and so it, it got me thinking about yesterday. I had this um, meeting in Culver City and, and which is Culver City is like very, very like trendy now. Mm-hmm. Like this, that one street with Washington with, yep. with all the. There's so many like trendy ass places on Washington now. Now they're like competing with each other to be like more niche and more trendy. It's so annoying. So I like Googled coffee because it was around. I was like an hour <clears> early and I just wanted to prep for the thing. So <clears throat> I Google this like place and it was like Yelp was like modern. Uh, oh, it's a like quaint modern coffee spot and I was like, oh god. And it was the only one around, so I was like, fuck it. I went to it. It's like one of those. You know what I mean? It's like. It's got like one table. There's one barista there with this like gigantic espresso machine that he's just like cleaning. (laughs) (laughs) Just making sounds. And he's just like taking a towel and cleaning all the things. He's jerking off his espresso machine. And it's huge. It looks like it was imported from fucking a small town in Italy. Gigantic. It took up most of the real estate in this place. a fucking muscle car. Yeah. It fucking makes espresso. It's got gigantic exhaust pipes. (laughs) Hi, welcome to Mocha Froca Fuck It All. (laughs) What? 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 Hi. (laughs) The menu has three. (laughs) (laughs) Just reloading the nitrous. Sorry, it'll be done in a second. (laughs) Dom from Fast and the Furious is back here, and there's only two things on the menu. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. And so I was like, I ordered a coffee or whatever. This dude strolls in behind me. I look at him. The most hipster dude I've ever seen in my entire, or heard, mostly heard, honestly. I looked at him, and I was like, oh, weird style. This guy's clearly a fucking L.A. weirdo. He's like wearing these pants that are too wide but too short. Oh, boy. He's got like some like some weird shoes on that I've never seen. He's wearing a Tied bandana. Stop it. Like kind of forward, like Tupac would have done, sort of. Stop it. He's got. He's wearing like this giant oversized shirt with another one underneath, and it's sh- like the overshirt is like cut, so it's like, just like a sort of a vest. I don't know. Do you get the picture now? Like yeah. weird guy. Anyways, yeah. <clears throat> so he he orders something stupid and starts talking about some sort of espresso bean or something that he's that he's like curious about. Here we go. Just acting like he that genuinely interests him. Here when we all we know go. it interests nobody. Yep. It gets worse. So he goes over to the pastry thing and he goes, <clears throat> oh, uh, what is this? There was a little muffin. Two, two of the, they had two of these muffins and it had a little slice of some sort of fruit on it. He goes, what kind, of, what kind of berry is that? What kind of fruit is that? And the guy says some crazy berry that I've never heard. He goes, oh, it's a uh, Cattell's berry. <laughs> it's, bur- it's bumbleberry. Bumblebird. Bumblebird. Bumbleberry. It's a dragon for fruit berry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon fruit berry. And the guy goes, no shit. Really? I love those. They're in season right now. And the guy's like, they sure are. And he's like, there's like a, you know, it's like a one to two month period when they're really, really good. And other than that, uh, you know, you can't. And he goes, I grow them myself or something. And I was like, oh my God, dude. I haven't even heard of this fruit in my entire life. And you're growing it? You suck. And he goes, perfect. Let me get one of those little bangers right there then. And I was standing behind him and I was like, he was actually in front of me ordering. And I was kind of like, this sounded kind of cool, honestly. <laughs> when he said, hey, can I get one of those little bangers? I was like, that's kind of tight. You're like, 
So I, I got one. Yeah. I got one. <laughs> After all that hate. Yeah. You fucking douche. <laughs> Let me get that right there. Oh, I, I go up and I'm like, hey, dude, can I get one of those little bangers as well? <laughs> He's like, you can't say it. <laughs> That's reserved for whatever that fucker's name is. <coughs> uh, I think his name was Queed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a combination of Queen, Queef, and Tweed. Weed, which is his tweed. jacket. <laughs> the jacket was made of Tweed. I fucking I hate LA. It's it was dude. This guy was so painfully unaware of himself. Like I was, everything he said, I was like, dude, yep. you're so clearly not genuinely interested in this. You're no. just saying this stuff because it's niche and weird. Yep, and it makes you different. Yep, and it was so transparent. Yep, That's, but this guy had no idea. And I, he walks out and he's like, say hi to your sister for me to the barista. And it's like, I know you feel cool because you know this barista on a first name basis. I know that makes you feel cool. And and that not only that, knowing a barista is a forced relationship. Because I go places where yeah. I go there yep. every day. I never ask that fool's name. Yep. And they never ask mine. 100%. Male, female, doesn't matter. It's just an understood thing. Like, we don't need to be fucking friends. Yep. You work here. I work nearby here. Fuck it. Yep. <clears throat> but that's the guy who comes in. He's like, hey, pal. I want yeah. to make a friendship so uh, you'll remember yeah. what I want when I walk in here. Exactly. Like, yeah. What's your name, dude? I, I come here all the time. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name, dog? What's your name, dude? I'm just trying to build in a light flex. Yeah, yeah. You know? I just want to lightly flex when I come in here. <laughs> Sam, cool. I'm Queed. <laughs> <laughs> and this, Sam is like, ah, oh, sick, dude. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> 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 Gotta jerk off this Mustang <laughs> fucking Chevy block, 16 small block every day for fucking Queed. 16 cylinder espresso <laughs> <Yeah>. machine. <laughs> I do, I fucking, I actually did that the other day. I met, I actually w- said, What's your name to a bartender that I see all the time? Oh boy. Because I see him all the time Whoa. and I used to think he was a big dick. Like I see him at this bar we go to all the time. And I, I, uh, I used to think he was a giant dick. I used to think he like really didn't like me. Sure. He, he was always doing that fucking bartender thing where you just act like you're way busier than you yeah. are, you know? Yeah. Like you, or you're like, hey, I'll get a gin and tonic. And they just don't even acknowledge it. They just turn around. And you're like, well, did he hear me? Is he pissed at me for and ordering then, the drink? And then drink? it just appears. Yeah, yeah. And he just appears and throws it down and goes, close it out. And you're like, yeah, close it out. Cool. And you're like, I don't even really want to give you a tip. You treated me like a piece of shit. It's like, I'm just, that's why I'm here. It's a bar. To die. To die. Yeah. I'm here to drink until I die. <laughs> you should support that if you don't like me. So what was that like when you... So, uh, so I was like, finally, I see him at the fucking gym all the time. And so finally I, I went, I was like, I was like, it wasn't busy. So I was like, hey, dude, by the way, I see you at, the, at Gold's all the time. I'm Cody. And he was like, oh, I'm bleh. And I was like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleh. Yeah. And then he walked away and I was like, oh, well, I don't know if anything's going to come of that. <laughs> I immediately kind of regret it. It's like when you ask a famous person to take a picture and yeah. afterwards you're like, ah, oh, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done it. Yep. I got a picture, but so what? Yeah. Now you're just the fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to go back to that bar? Yeah, I'm going to go back. Yeah. I'm going to go back. My, I mean, my whole goal is that I, I, I want to be friends with that dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Queen? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, have you tried Cattillsbury? No. Really, really good. They're in season right now. Oh, excellent. Yeah, they're great. I actually got a little plant, a little shrub growing in my room. Oh, you know what's, <clears throat> you know what's funny is I worked on a Cattillsbury farm. Did you? <laughs> yeah, this few years ago. I actually, you know, built everything myself, including the earth. <laughs> I hand harvested the earth. It's a newer type of earth. Most people aren't familiar with it yet. <laughs> Organic earth. Uh, yeah, I worked with these weed growers up in Oregon. Yeah, see, they know... Um, this different kind of earth that grows mm. cattills berries a lot faster. So mm. I moved on to dragon cattills berries. It's a weird hybrid. Nice. I'm actually going to launch a company. So really? Yeah. Best of luck with that. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. You're going to uh, headquarters in Culver City? Yep. Yep. You know, just to start. Good shit. <laughs> yeah, we we're going to mix in um, organic titty milk. So <laughs> it's always a good base. What was the song? Um, Girl, shake that titty meat. meat. That titty meat. That titty meat. That titty meat. That titty meat, girl, shake that titty meat. Hey, that titty meat, hey. Everyone, <laughs> I imagine people driving to work being like, it's Monday, I didn't really want to vibe to this, but <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> no. Dreaming out of pussy, that's a cat nap. <clears throat> Dreaming out of pussy, that's a cat nap. I'm telling you, that's going to be a fucking hit. Yeah? I'm telling you. Okay. I I don't doubt it. Shout out to uh, um, uh, our writing abilities. Shout out to that. Yeah. Dude, my brain is so burned right now. Dude, me too. <clears throat> yeah. Why? Uh, what well, you've been fucking? I was producing 
all day yesterday. Were you really? Yes, all day, like morning to night. Yeah, I could, I could tell actually. Yeah, we had a, we were meeting about Suki and just other stuff. <clears throat> oh yeah, what's the deal with the movie? Update the people. Actually, wait before you do that, I just want to say I know I promoted this last time. Uh, we want to go live with this podcast. Oh yeah, Jesus you wanted- Christ. That was awful. That was like all of yesterday's food just burped up. Um, we want to take this podcast live. I know I plugged this last time, but if you didn't listen to the last episode because you don't listen to the ones where it's just me and you only listen to the ones with Noel, we want to take this live. And full screen told us if we get enough responses to this, yeah, uh, to this link or to this web form that they'll that they'll produce it for us and they'll they'll run the whole thing. So the link is in the description. It's tourdemand.live slash Cody dash co. I think it's the domain, but it's in the description. Hit that. Just be like, hey, I live in blank. Here's my email. Um, and then just click submit. Very simple. But then it tells them like where you're located and where the demand is. And then they'll do the show there. Yes. So if you want it in your city and you're interested in that, hit that fucking link and do that shit. Please go do it. <clears throat> what, do it. What do we even do? Are we just going to do this live? I think we could rope in, you know, some funny gimmicks. Yeah. I was thinking... Um, just like in the middle, just pop the mic on, just do a stand-up set. Yeah. And then yeah. just pop back down. Yeah. Back pop to back the- into the podcast. Here's a terrible idea I came up with yesterday. Ready? <clears throat> no. I want to call it, I thought about this for a podcast, Riff Rap, right? So you, you'd sit, you'll talk with whoever for like 30 minutes, okay. and then there's a bucket and then a beat starts playing <laughs> and you start pulling shit out and you got a freestyle. Oh my God. About the topic. You got a riff. For That's like, great. I don't know, a minute, if you can even make it that long. I couldn't make it two seconds. Yeah, but I've, I feel like you get some interesting characters on there. Oh, yeah. Comedians that can rap. Or don't just, they do? Isn't that like Five Fingers of Death? Isn't that, they just change the song. <laughs> they just change the beat. Okay. And they just got to freestyle forever. Did they do that, though? I've seen them play I mean, games where it's like they freestyle about like the shit in the studio. Oh, yeah, that's a common thing. Like rappers would be like, oh, give me a <clears> word. <throat> They'd be like, um, anti disestablishment terrorism. <laughs> and you'll be like, anti disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> like, I ain't into all that. I didn't go to school. You know, whatever. Give me a word. Yep. Purple. Yep. Purple. You be sucking on my nurple. <laughs> I be out here with the twerple. Like, <laughs> that was bad. Yeah. But freestyling is so forgiving. Are you good at it? No. Can you, can you get, do you think you can get better at it? Yeah, you can. Really? Yeah. Um, it, I mean, the common thing I see with people who can freestyle well is they either have a crutch phrase, like, uh, like one of my homeboys, like when he would rap, his go-to was most motherfuckers be. Okay. Like he would come back to that when he was trying to think of something else. Ah, uh, okay. You know, so if you listen to anyone who's dope at freestyling, like they'll always have like some crutch phrase that they lean on <clears> or <throat> they like know how to flow. So like they might switch up the flow where it's like less words in between. Uh, and okay. They get some cool shit to say. Yeah. Um, so what Matt was like, Matt was like, if you want to figure out, he's like, just think of the thing you want to say and then make the line before rhyme with that. Yep. So if you want to say like, like sucking on a ditty meat yep. as the finishing thing, yep. then you just like think of something. I'd be sitting on this pretty beat, yeah, sucking yeah, yeah. on this titty meat. meat. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And my other buddy, I remember like a long time ago, this is like five years ago or something, when I used to live in San Francisco, I was doing the drive down to LA all the time. And he was like, he's like, dude, if you want to get better at freestyling, just do it in your car alone. Yep. So one time I was driving up back to San Francisco and I was just like, I was bored <laughs> as fuck on the five, just going through that area they call Cowschwitz. Yep. <laughs> you know, because it's just... It's just it's just awful and stinks like fucking. Yep. It's like Fresno and all that shit. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And I was, I was, no, Fresno is after, isn't it? No. It's like on the way. Okay. I don't know. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I'm driving and I'm just like, it's silent. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, maybe I should try this. And I was like, almost, <laughs> I was too embarrassed to do it even by myself. Yeah. And I tried it and I was so bad that I was just like, I, I cringed at my own performance. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking never doing this again. Never doing this again. By myself. It's, I'm picturing this moment where it's just like the rumble of the road. Just like. Yeah. And you're like. It's kind of in a daze. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe just one. <laughs> just, just do one bar. Just one bar. <laughs> I have, I'll have a bar. I have a bar or two. <laughs> what, beat, what beat did you pick? I don't remember, dude. It was a long time ago. Long time ago. I feel like the go-to... I feel like people always like go to like old rappers. Like when they freestyle for the first time. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they never... They're like, uh, I don't know, put on a Tupac beat or something. It's like, no. What, do you, what beat would you freestyle to? You need like... Put uh, it on. 
Me? No. Yeah. No. Come on. Five fingers mm. of death right now. Riff rap. Fuck no. Riff rap right now. No, seriously, I cannot get past like a bar. Fine. I I used to be able to do like, you know, eight, twelve. Can you hit that? Yeah. Hit it. <clears throat> What's with these airplanes? Oh, is it that <clears throat> airport over there in Santa Monica? Uh I think so, yeah. Yeah. But dude, the helicopters around here are with dude, yesterday where there was like a full on fucking amber alert. Three police helicopters just circling awesome. over this area, and it's always like that. Yeah, like, who are they? Who, like, who, who is doing a crime that bad that requires three helicopters? <laughs> it's so expensive. They're like, we heard this fucking kid is doing a podcast down here. We got to put a stop to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's go fuck up his podcast. <laughs> Someone said retard in there. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I always feel like. When I see one of those fucking helicopters that someone's just going to be mounted on a minigun. <laughs> and just <laughs> Kim Jong-un. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. What the fuck are we just talking about? I don't know. I feel like we're both like a little brain dead today. I know. This is, like, this is like almost too chill. Yeah. How do this we is, amp it up? This is insanely chill. I'll say this. If we took this on the road, <clears throat> I think a live freestyle could be very funny between the two of us. No, it, it would be funny because of how bad I would be. Yeah, but we could do like the back and forth where it's Sitting like in the hot seat, sucking on this titty meat, and then it's hey, like then hey, I pick up uh, from there. Yeah, yeah, that could be really funny. Yeah, I just tried to think of something. I just nothing happened. Um, I, I don't. What threw me off is your flow because I don't. It was too fast. Yeah, yeah. It's very like hippity hoppity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the hot seat, sucking on the titty, titty meat. meat. Uh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Now hey. clap your hands, everybody. <laughs> you got what it takes. <laughs> These are Stacy's baby. These are Stacy's baby. <laughs> and these are the breaks. Man, I saw a funny ass tweet today. It was like these old heads say rap is dumbed down now. Like the first, like the first song of hip hop wasn't hippity hoppity, bippity boppity. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of true. Uh, right. The movie. The movie. Yeah, the movie. What are the updates? People want to know. The peeps. All right, we're shooting uh, four weeks from Friday. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, pretty scary, but I'm feeling good. Lock Are you? Out. Yeah. Lock, all the tough shit is finally out the way. We got the talent for the most <clears> part, <throat> got our locations, the story is in line and it's all starting to gel. It was like mush like four to six weeks ago. That's how it felt. Wait, is it union? <clears throat> no, it is non-union. I can't do it. Huh? I mean, no, we keep what? What? Yeah. You weren't going to do it. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. You weren't going to do it. Not going to do it. No. Nope. I wasn't going to be in it, and we also didn't even talk about this. Well, it's, uh, you know, you weren't going to be paid. Why don't you just wink at me? <laughs> the feds are watching, bro. <laughs> I don't even think you can do free shit. I don't really know how it works, but the union's pretty... I think I get fee... I think I get, like, charged. Don't I get, like, a, a, a fee, uh, not a fee, but a fucking, like, ticket if I... No, I thought it I was... do non-union shit? I don't no, know. I don't know how the union works. I just joined it. I was talking to... Uh, one of Alexis' friends, and she was saying, or he, damn it, uh, he was saying that it's just you can't take money, I believe, it, is what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have to, like, you, you kind of have to like, be in and out of the project. You can't be, uh, you know, doing eight hours a day for, like, 13 cents. Gotcha. You got to gotcha, get that gotcha, union gotcha, rate. Gotcha. gotcha. And anyway, you got all the talent locked up? Yeah, everything's, like, locked up. So it's, like, hit, it's, it's, I mean, it's going to be dope. I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm now, I'm, like, really feeling it. One, one of the actors we got is so goddamn funny really yeah so funny guy or girl it's a dude okay um what's he what's the role so uh we shaped the story a little bit and basically uh there's a detective that's kind of like he's kind of had his eye on suki for a minute and now he's finally got a trail okay and so he's a dick just total asshole and uh he's got a little he's got a little team that he can like roll with and like do his dirty work so He's definitely gonna like drive home like the dark comedy aspect. Okay. Like he's got this persona on camera. It's just so funny. Like we were looking at his reel, just like rolling. Really? Yeah. Even like his audition, like he kind of like swagged it out, like he did his own thing. And we're like, yo, this guy's funny as fuck. That's sick. Yeah. So we're hype. Damn. Yeah. That's fucking tight. How many days shoot is it? Three. Okay. Yeah. All day. Bad. Yeah. Definitely. That's not too bad. It's not. I think we're just gonna be like twelve, twelve, and sixteen. <laughs> okay. Which tw- twelve Jesus is normal? Christ. Twelve is normal. I yeah. feel like. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, this the Sunday, the third day is gonna be brutal. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> but it's gonna be fucking good when it's wrapped. Yeah, yeah. Gonna feel fucking good. Yep. I'm so fucking excited <clears throat> to do this shit, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's fucking fucking sick. And you're cutting the whole thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're going to cut it. Yeah, and might then, as well. Yep. And then we'll hand it off to like a colorist and sound designer and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I mean, like if we're aggressive, could be ready by Halloween. Really? But not, not, you know, that's a. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to fucking make promises. That's like a that. nice to have. Yeah. Huge nice to have. You're going to be fuck, like every Kickstarter ever. Hey guys, <laughs> sending updates. Sorry, the project's delayed again. Uh, just another, you know, two years. Uh, like Lil Dicky, didn't he? He like kickstarted his album. Yeah. And it was like two years later or something. Yep. yep. I, I fucking contributed to that shit when I was like 17. Wow. <laughs> and then you like graduated college. You're like, finally, I got this fucking, <laughs> or you're in college. Yeah. That's funny. I mean, every, I feel like every 20 year old loves Lil Dicky. Yeah. And when I was 20, I was like, yo, this guy's sick. I mean, so I still think he's good, but it's like when 20 is like, this guy's so smart. <laughs> he's like rapping, but it's like, he's not a rapper though. This <laughs> shit is dope. <laughs> So I gave him whatever, ten, twenty dollars to do his album. <laughs> you, you know what's crazy is our makeup and special effects girl, she said she got put on a project and six to eight months went by. Like it was like it seemed like it was for real. It was like <clears throat> like six to eight months or some shit. And then like the director just went cold. Really? She was like, okay, the date's coming up. So she like reached out to the talent. She figured out like some girl. She's like, hey, this is super weird but is this thing still going to happen? She's like, that guy hasn't talked to me and like, I don't even know how long. So she was like, oh, we all were just getting blue balled. Okay, never mind. Holy shit. Yeah, it made me think about how many projects don't make it. Yeah. Yeah. And how many fucking shitty producers there are probably. Yep. And directors that just like- Say shit and yeah. like try to get people on board. Yep. Well, because like planning something, or not, not even planning, but like planning to do something and then doing it are two totally different yes. things. You know what I mean? Yes. Like taking that last step and actually doing it. Yep. I feel like a lot of people don't do that. They write something, they plan it, and then they it, talk to people, and then they're just like, I can't. Because it takes balls. Yep. Because it could be shitty. Yep. You and, could do it, and then you could be it, and like, oh, it's shitty. <laughs> I feel a lot of pressure. I mean, don't. don't. No, I don't. You're, you're going to do something good. I know that. But yeah. it's like a lot of people don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of people make shitty stuff. I, I feel like the, di <clears throat> the difficulty in Hollywood is realizing that whatever you're making sucks ass. Yeah, I feel like that's ninety percent of it, and the ten percent are the people who realize like mm, I got to do better. Yeah, and then the one percent of naturals. Yeah, that's one hundred and one percent of the industry. Right there, <laughs> if you can do math, that's actually true. I was thinking about that the other, the other day. I was thinking about like how dude, my fucking acting teacher always like starts every class with like a lesson, and it's always really good. Yeah, and it course. always like makes me think about like just like life in L.A. and fucking trying to make it in this industry or whatever. And I was thinking the other day about how like. How like sometimes you gotta like look at what you've done, yeah, like, something that you've done, and be like, "This is shitty." Yep, and like just like accept that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even when you make something shitty, I always say, "Put it up." Yeah, so you can look at it and be like, "That was bad." Yeah, and you'll never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> like I think the video I put up today just didn't really. <laughs> I, I showed it to Alex yesterday before, like when I was like half done editing it, so yeah. it was like still a little bit shitty. And he was like, "Yeah, dude, I gotta be honest, it's like not my favorite one of your videos." <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> Hurts a little to hear you say that because I spent a lot of time on this and I do? totally agree with you. Yep. But I'm going to fucking put it up anyways. Yeah. See, what I do is I just tell people a video is happening every week. Yep. And then just never make a video. Yeah. What the fuck? Where <laughs> you got your camera here now. Are you trying to make a video? Uh, you know, I might think, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. think about it. Speaking of which, uh, I just want to apologize for the third cam or the second camera angle last time on the oh, last yeah, podcast that yeah, we did together. Yeah. That was, that was uh, all him. That was me. Um, I didn't think that I didn't think that Cody would doesn't be, would be want too to lazy. Edit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought he would have sat there, cut the two camera, really gone with. It. But I couldn't really expect that because like it's an hour straight of footage, so that's tough. And you know how hard it is when one frame is one person and the yeah. other frame is two. You gotta go. Yep. Like I don't know who to switch between right. because a lot of times Marcus and someone else in this was target, talking right. at the same time, and I was right. like, dude, this is gonna take me ten hours to edit. I listened back to that podcast a few times. It Mostly was fucking funny. Yeah. Well, because I and I said this before, but I'm glad everyone could see how funny Marcus is. Yeah. But you can't. The thing is, we can't shame him, guys. He just won't. He just won't. What do you mean? Like be a comedian yeah. or just whatever. He'll he'll quietly write the funniest shit ever, <clears throat> and continue being Marcus. I, he was the one. He wrote that tweet that I tweeted. Uh, um, Solar hood clips. Yeah. He just said that. And yeah. I was like, dude, that is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. There were, He's like, tweet it. <laughs> I was like, fine. There were days where Marcus and I were sitting 
next to each other. And I'd be thinking about jokes and shit so hard. And he would just turn to me and be like, do you know what I was thinking? He'd say like the funniest thing I'd heard in like at least three days. I was like, is Marcus a better comedian than me? <laughs> do I? Yes. Can, can the I answer even, that is yes. Can I even be friends with this guy? Like yeah. he's too good. Yeah. Just too. I feel like he's so, because he's never thinking about it, the jokes just come to him. There's natural. Yeah. Yeah. Like his one today, local hoist. Oh, so funny. Oh boy, we're doing describe, this again. Describe that. We're doing this again. Yep. All right, programmer gotta, humor, guys. We gotta go back to the program. Dive humor. in. Yep. So when you're developing, uh, well, yes and no. When you're developing an <laughs> app or some type of software on what's called your local environment, this refers to your own computer. <laughs> Uh, typically, you will hit a web address known as localhost. Localhost. And localhost uh, is where you can see the uh, software work in real time. This is how you can debug. <laughs> so, <laughs> word vomit. <laughs> Dude, that hits me in the funny butt every time. <laughs> so, Marcus. Local. <laughs> local. <laughs> So I want to read Marcus's message because it's so goddamn funny. Um, Marcus came up with what is called local hoist. So L O C A L H O E S T. And what was the joke? The He's number like, one way for tech nerds to find bad bitches in their neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> local hoist. Local hoist. I wonder, Every, if he, I wonder if he's going to care that we just blew up his fucking spot. You know how many people just hit me with you fucking nerd after our episode? <laughs> no way, really. Yeah. You fucking nerd. Because we were talking about like Erlang or something. Yeah, and all that. I don't think you can talk about development in a cool way. I think it just naturally sounds a little nerdy. Definitely. Because it's technical. No one, it all sounds like, you know. Just, just garbage. Yeah. Just word. Just, yeah, just things. I'm fucking, dude, I'm, I'm at the point now where I drank way too much coffee. <laughs> Now I'm just anxious, and yeah. like can't moving sit around. Still. And I can't sit still. I'm that's, sweating. That's my favorite thing about coffee. Is you're like, I'm gonna get a lot of work done. Actually, no, you're just gonna be. I'm gonna take three shits. Yep, and just be anxious the entire time. Yep, worried about your future. Yep, panic attack possibly. Like I don't know how people how, how people are productive on Adderall. Uh, well, I'm. I, guess, I don't know how people are productive on that shit. It's when like, I was on that shit, I was like, <clears throat> that was like, uh, what was that limitless? Yeah, yeah, that's what that shit felt like. Yeah. The first month of being on that stuff. Oh my god! Really? In high school, like I had never known what focus was. You were on it in high school. Yeah. So you got it prescribed because you had ADD or something. Yeah, I, I took all like the half ADD meds. So it was okay. like, um, uh, God damn it, Ritalin or something. No, no, no. Those are like there's two types. So that's like the original. The new one is like, uh, uh Concerta. That's one of oh, them. Oh yeah, yeah. Vyvanse. Um, Stratera, shit like that. Okay. Yeah. But that stuff was like, whoo boy. I do. I like, I never gave a shit about Spanish. I took that stuff. I was, I felt like fluent. Fluent? Yeah. <laughs> Just all of a sudden. Yeah. I got, ah, hola, got it instantly. Senorita. Yeah. Still would never speak it. <laughs> I would, str dude, I would ace tests and then like the teacher would call on me and they'd be like, all right, Noel, read this page. And I would straight up go, nah. Really? Yeah. Why? I, like You're I just, just racist. No, nah, I'm just like, like I didn't want to sound like a gringo. Okay. I knew I was gonna butcher it. You're and not white though. I know, but I just I, aren't you Mexican? What are you? Um, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the world still, will never know. The the world will never know. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like I could speak it well if I tried. Okay, but I just knew I would butcher it. And I remember uh, the Spanish. He's like, he got so frustrated. He's like, just just read it. He wanted to say fucking. <laughs> Just fucking read it. And I just like, I just went into a character and I was like, uh uh, baby, I ain't reading all that. Uh uh, uh uh, uh. And he's he, Stacy's baby. He's Stacy's baby. And he like, he, start, he started laughing <laughs> and then he started crying laughing. And I had the whole classroom rolling and I was just sitting there like, kind of like smug. And he was like, where did you learn to talk like that? I was like, it's how I talk, baby. I'm just like being stupid. And he was like, I'm never calling on you again because I was such like a disruption. That's sick. Yeah. That's when I knew. I was like, mm, maybe comedy is my thing. Yeah. <laughs> you just flex on the whole podcast and how funny you were in high school. <laughs> That's what you just did. That's, I mean, you yeah, know. Yeah, man, I had the whole class rolling. I was killing the classroom, baby. I was killing baby. it. Wait, wait, let me ask you this. In, in high school. No. All right. 16, that's the answer. Right? <laughs> uh, in high school, yeah. when you got into a classroom, was your thought like, 
all right, I'm going to pay attention and then get the work done? Like, No, no, never. Okay. My my thought always in high school was like, how can I be funny in this class? Right yeah, now? same. Always. Okay, all right. I was always the one that fucked around and yeah. like and tried to make people laugh. Yeah, how can like you that. be annoying? Yeah. Word. Yeah. I, yeah. That's that's so, such a, I feel like such a narcissistic thing. Like you get in a crowd, you're like, huh. Yeah. How can I, I make this about me? <laughs> that was every class exactly. to me. How can I disrupt this <laughs> for my benefit? Yeah. I had a biology uh, fucking professor. I would kill her to the point that she just gave up. Okay. She would just let me be an idiot. Yeah. And then just like roll her eyes. Or like sometimes she would just like reluctantly send me outside. <coughs> so that's what made it even better. It was never personal. But I, I remember know. we had a lesson about um, shit, like okay. actual shit going okay. through your body. Weird. Yeah. And um, so she's like going through these notes. She's being real serious. And there's like words like penis and stuff. <laughs> So like, I just laughed at that. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> penis, I just yeah, laughed. Everyone is just like, you know, they want to giggle, but they can't. And I just out of nowhere, I'm like, yo, you got penis up there. <laughs> and she starts, she like shakes her head. And then like, she then, she tries to move on. She starts talking about uh, shit, but she refers to it as it's something called chyme. <laughs> okay. So this is the word for before poop is poop. It's chyme. Okay. And she's like. She's like, so it's it's a paste like substance. So I go, so it's a poop paste. <laughs> it's a shit paste. It's like paste shit. And I just keep doing this. And she just goes, Noel, outside. And she would just put me outside when I was like being too much. And that just became our relationship. And she just gave up. That's hilarious. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> she'd let me get my two jokes. Because off. they always think it's funny. Yeah. Too. Like the yeah. teachers are always like, <laughs> God damn it, this fucking kid. I hate this job. You hate this material. Yeah. We all hate it. But Dude, I had a fucking, I had a high school teacher. Her name was Miss Dick. Uh, you just Could I on. tell you this before? D-Y-C-K, Miss Dick. And she was hot as hell, dude. Uh, English teacher, <laughs> Miss Dick. <laughs> Low cut tops all the time. She knew it too. Yeah, yeah. So we were thinking back, thinking that she was probably my age. She was probably even younger. She's probably like 24, 20s, 25. Yeah. Yep. Miss Dick. Yep. And so we would always, we would always just like, I mean, I don't know. It's like horny fucking high school teenager, <laughs> teenagers just fucking with her. I remember, <clears throat> I remember one time, one time in fucking, this must've been in, oh, this was in elementary, I think, or maybe even middle school. Yeah. I had like a huge crush on this girl and uh, I always used to like, we I always used to like fuck with her in class. Uh -huh. And I kept like, one day I kept looking at her. My teacher, the guy, this guy I really, really liked as a teacher. He, one time he just like in front of the whole class was like, yo, dude, Cody, if you keep looking at her, if you look at her one more time, I'm moving your desk right beside hers for the rest of the semester. <laughs> and I was like, I was horrified. Oh, I was like, oh my shit. God, oh my God. And then, <laughs> and then I did it. I looked at her and he fucking did it. Oh my God. He stopped the class. He took my desk and he moved it beside her. And I just was hands in my head like bright oh my red. god dude bright red gotcha sat beside her for i think for the fucking rest of the semester did you ever say anything yeah i mean like i was like i was actually like i think i was like a kid making out with the girl or whatever okay. yeah um so it is like one of the most embarrassing memories from, high school, from <laughs> middle or from elementary school ever it's so good middle school must have been yeah no, yeah, no high, elementary yeah elementary yeah? i'm just trying to <clears throat> yo all my entire academic career was me taking a chance saying really stupid shit. Yeah. I I was just, I, that's why I felt like I never had a future cuz I just had Fs and I would say shit and everyone was like, "Man, what the fuck are you <laughs> on, bro?" What p people in high school <coughs> thought cuz no one knew what weed was, but everyone thought like you are high all the time. And then even people who smoked would accuse me of this. They'd be like, "You're stoned right now, huh?" I'm like, "No." Like this is just my how I think. Yeah, and I, I don't know what that says about me if I'm so dumb or whatever. <coughs> but th that was always like a weird thing. I think it just means it's I also don't know, just I think kids. It means you're like creative, right? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think everyone, but like, like I used to get that on Vine all the time. People would be like, "Yo, this this dude's so high that, in this it, Vine." And I'm yeah. like, "I'm never ever never. high. <laughs> don't smoke weed. Never high. I just <laughs> fuck around on camera. You could yeah. do the same shit." Yeah, actually, no, that's what it is. When you're like. I guess when you're not exposed to a ton of creativity, yeah, maybe your default is like, oh, you got to be on drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. But then when you start fucking around with it, you're like, oh, oh, I, you're like, I, I kind of think this too. Yeah, yeah. You're like I can, I can color. Yeah, <laughs> and not be on drugs. And not be on drugs. <laughs> I like coloring. I can. I think it's just because yeah, this society doesn't let you like fool around. Yeah, yeah. It's all about the rules and yeah. shit. Totally. 
I'm trying to think of any. Fuck society, man. <laughs> Fuck society, bro. I'm moving to Culver City and I'm growing <laughs> razzleberries. What's up? My name's Queed. Queed. <laughs> I got just planted my my Riz raspberry. <laughs> my Cotillberries. Cotillberries. I'm trying to think of any other funny high school fucking situations. Because fucking with the teachers. Oh, yo, this was bad. Okay. Oh, this was terrible. So there was this English teacher. I don't even remember her name. Uh, Miss Dick? No. No, she was older. Okay. Kind of like a frazzled lady. Mm -hmm. You know, probably not someone who should have been around kids. Okay. You know, a little bit of just bad, whatever. So she got there the first year and she was new and she didn't really have her foot like... You know, she never foot. She never foot. <laughs> she, she didn't really. She didn't really she's have a, her footing. What she's a footing? footless woman. <laughs> you fucked with a one footless. You fucked with a footless woman. Oh, you're an asshole. Her name was Miss Footless. <laughs> now she she just like she didn't really come off. You know, like when you're a teacher, that first day you kind of gotta like lay it down. Yeah, you're like I'm the fucking teacher. Yeah, yeah. And she softballed it. Okay. And you know, kids like we sniffed it out. We're like yeah. mm, weak. Yeah, it's like a substitute. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You're yep. just like well. Yep, you are. You're fucked you're for the fucked. rest of the year. You're fucked. Yeah. So she got fucked with <clears throat> so bad. I mean, uh, the she quit. Like oh. after like a year or two, what? the kids were so bad she quit because you got, made a footless woman quit her you made job. A footless woman quit her job. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Give up That's all awful. her health benefits. <laughs> yeah. Yo, the worst story was someone licked a fucking popsicle and threw that shit while she was writing on the board and it landed in her hair and it was just in her hair for the duration of the period. Oh, Had no man. idea. Like a popsicle stick? No, no. Uh, did I say popsicle? I'm said an popsicle. idiot. A lollipop. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, lollipop just eh, boom, hit her in, and just, just there in her hair. And she's like giving the lesson and everyone's just like, ah. Oh my God. <laughs> and she's just got the lollipop and it hit her later. And she's like, you mother. Fuckers. Yeah, it just snapped. Wow. Yeah. One of my boys went to teach a school in Texas, and uh, he's like a you know white dude, uh, like played in a ton of bands, like total dead opposite of where he was teaching. You know, it's like all young black kids and stuff. And they like, but he's such like a chill dude that he was, you know, he's got a crazy appearance, long hair, like biker mustache, and like the kids just connected them like hella hard. So like he just get like. He would post on Facebook like funny ass shit the kids would say or, uh, you know, just like it, it was like the coolest shit to see. Like it's pretty dope. Yeah. I uh, for a minute I wanted to be a teacher. What? Yeah. You? Yeah. 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 You probably, you'd probably be a good teacher, honestly. Yeah. I'd be a goof, though. Yeah. Everyone would clown my ass after a minute. And nothing would get done ever. No, yeah. Nothing would ever get done. Kel Dude, Kelsey was uh, like a uh, preschool teacher. Oh, tough. And we were talking today. We were like, I was like, what the fuck is that like? What do you teach them? And she's like, you, you, have, to, you have to teach them how to like, uh, like recognize letters uh, and the colors. You have to teach them colors. Okay. Like this is green. Blue. Yeah. Blue. You got to teach them like, I don't know, like. Not to be a dick. Share. Yeah. Share. That stuff. How to share. And she was like, yeah, like I used to get like a lot of preschool teachers get like hella sick okay. in their first year because like yeah. kids would just like <laughs> sneeze into her mouth. <laughs> into her mouth and she'd get she got pneumonia from that shit but she said like she like visited a couple of the kids that she taught and they like cried when she showed up like the wow. family had like a brunch and invited her and she wow. like wow the kids like cried when she showed up because they like she affected them that much i'm like wow. that's pretty fucking cool honestly that's dope that's cool like you have like a serious hand in like raising this kid almost like, yeah you know you spend a year with them or whatever and then like you ever have a nanny or anything growing up i did but i hated them all really so but I got teachers that I think like if I saw them now, oh I oh, I got one, <laughs> yo dude's got the funniest last name Gilkey, <laughs> just it's almost as bad as Queed. Yeah yeah, everyone would fuck with him. But I remember um, it, this was like the most like I had done something. It was an English class. I wrote something and he and he picked it up and he's like he goes Noah can I talk to you for a minute? And he pulls he pulls me outside. He goes, so what's going on at home, bro? And like he just picked up on it, and like I about broke down. I was like, "Oh shit, <coughs> damn!" Yeah, it was, it was like he fucking just sunned me right there. It's getting emotional. Yeah, I mean, there was also this girl. No, I was going to just go to a story. <laughs> just like those was this teacher we used to call it dumb bitch. <laughs> no, um, yeah, footless woman, footless woman. Fuck you, stupid footless <laughs> bitch. Uh, God, teaching is brutal. Yeah, dude, high school just sucks. Yeah. Should we wrap it up? I'm fucking tired. Yeah, I could tell. I'm, I'm hoping, like, we did this one, like, I feel like to promote, and I just hope people don't hear this. Like, <laughs> He's tired. I don't want these fucking hungover, tired people coming to my city. You know what? 
Yeah, exactly. Take it back. Hey, listen, if we come to your city, <laughs> we'll be animated, I promise. We will be better than this. Yeah, we will. Be we better will. Than this. I actually think this wasn't that bad of an episode. No, it will be all right. I think it was fine. Wait, last, oh, fuck, last looks. I thought I had something I wanted to bring up. Oh, shit. Balls. Damn it. Is this not going to come back? Uh, here, I have some stuff written down. Venmo. Oh, what about it? Uh, nothing. Just have that written down. <laughs> uh, GameCube. We actually have a GameCube over there now. Are you back in it? Uh, I, I got, I bought like a, the adapter. You have to get like, dude, so then the back of my TV, there's like composite inputs, right? Yeah. Like the red. Oh, yellow, is that what that whatever. goofy shit is right there? <clears throat> what? You need like a RCA to whatever. Is that what that is? That thing's that thing will just allow it's like composite and there's more composite. It's like okay. a USB thing where it just gives you more inputs or whatever. Okay. But they put the the mount on the back of the TV over the inputs. Oh wow. It's like what the fuck? Come on. Guys. So I had to buy an HDMI to composite thing yeah. to hook up this fucking GameCube. Anyways, that's fucking boring. What else do yeah. I have? Nintendo Split. I'm gonna buy one. Okay. I played one. It's dope. Is it dope? Yeah, very. Good. Okay. Best buy. Have that written down. Um, fucking hate it. Could talk about it forever. Ooh, one thing. My homie Paul, I've told you about him. He When he quit Best Buy to go to the Navy, he would post on Facebook. He did it like an eight-part series okay. called Things I Won't Miss About Best Buy. Okay. And they were they were like Vines. And I wish Vine was around because he would have got a million followers off these. No <laughs> really? Person. Yeah, first one. He goes, people who don't stop talking, <laughs> I already sold you what you wanted. I don't give a fuck about <laughs> anything you have to say. And then like the next one is like, Old people, if you're too old to use the camera and you don't know how to use a computer, then maybe you're too fucking old for whatever's <laughs> in this store. Like just simple shit like that. Yo, you watched eight of those. I was, I was, we were, this is the funniest shit I've seen in life. That's great. To this day. Well, I'm happy I wrote this down. Yeah. Next one. This Let's is go. just literally me and Kelsey were like, this morning I was like, what should I talk to Noel about? And she's just like, I was naming it was <laughs> soil prices was one thing. Cause you know, a lot of people talk about oil prices. What about? I feel like not enough people are talking about soil, soil prices. Oh, soil futures. Now, this is a <laughs> fucking avenue I can get into. Here. What the fuck was that? Uh, this was my glasses, yeah. <laughs> my, well, yes and, and no. no. See, soil futures are going to be down in the coming months as corn is on its way up. Corn, you know, is just a more viable of stock these days. <laughs> Welcome to Investing Hour yeah. with Noel. <laughs> What else do we have? Tomato plants. Uh, fuck tomatoes. So moving on. Okay, move on from that. Uh, uh, merch. Um, oh, that's funny that I have that, that written down. Speaking oh, of that, CodyComerch.com. Mm, if mood, you want to support. Mood.pizza, right? Mood. Or go to Mood.pizza. Yeah. Um, and let, let me know if I should make merch. I'll, yeah. make, I'll make it next year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> next? Next, we have a marathon training. I need to do that today. I need to do that. Oh, you're running so. one. I'm going to run a marathon soon, and I just have not been training for it. I was supposed to do my long run last week. Just didn't do it. So now it's been full two weeks. You know what they say about marathon runners? What? It's an addiction. <laughs> you, ever, you ever experienced runner's high? <laughs> God, is that real? No, it's not fucking real. Because I've been actually high. And it, that is way better. Runner's, runner's high is, is high for people that have never done drugs. Yeah, right. Right. You know, that's yeah. what it is. It's like they run and all of a sudden, oh my God, the endorphins. <laughs> no, that's, you've ran for 20 days and your body wants to stop. Yeah. And now you're just. <sighs> the only thing runner's high is, is when you don't feel like a lot of pain when you're running. <laughs> Cause like, cause the standard is you're just in pain all the time okay. right? when you're running, right? It's like when you're running 20 miles, it's like you're in pain for 19 and a half of those miles. <gasps> and then there's like one half mile stretch where there's a really good song playing you know what I mean? You're into the song and you're like, holy fuck. I finally don't feel like shit. That's what runner's high is. Got it. I don't feel like shit. <laughs> and then you hit the wall at, you know, yep. once that mile, once that half mile is over and you're like, oh, back to feeling like shit. Got it. Okay. That's runner's high. All right. Last one. The fight. Are you you going to bet money? You going to put money on it? Uh, yeah. I want to <laughs> throw like 20 potatoes on Conor McGregor. Yeah. Conor. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> You're not going to do shit. <laughs> you don't do shit. Fuck you. My friends today were talking about how he like, he loses 90% of the purse or something if he does any MMA moves. Yeah. Something well, like that. We are like, we're, how funny would it be if he just like fucking threw him in an arm bar? Just yep. like got frustrated and just fucking rocked him, like broke his neck. Yo. Hit that record. Yo, wait, let me do this. Uh, Cause I know you don't give a shit about fighting. Yep. But, uh, Two things. One, I, I still want to do this. Someone should do this. I'm too lazy to do it. Another trailer idea. I want someone to go back and get all the press conference footage and cut a comedy tour 
like promo. Yeah. 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 It's the black and white comedy tour <laughs> featuring right. Conor McGregor. Oh, fuck you, mate. <laughs> and Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the funniest tour America's seen yet. And like the like weird goofy sound Got of effect. footage of Floyd's yeah. dad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, 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 I don't know what dad sounds like. He's a Stacy's baby. Um, <laughs> That's what he sounds like. Yeah. I mean, and then two. The point oh one percent right here. Connor has it. Mm. Yeah, he does. He does not. Yes, he does. No, he no, does I'll not. tell you why right now. Ready? Yes. Go watch the footage of him and his former training partner. I can't pronounce the guy's last name. Okay. Paulie, whatever. All right. Did you, you know about the whole drama? No. Okay. So there is an image that was released that looked like Connor knocked out <laughs> Paulie. Okay. And Paulie was like, no, nah, it's bullshit. It was a push. You're trying to sell it, this <clears> and that. So someone released the footage. He got stung. He got stung for real. But that's not the takeaway. Okay. The takeaway is, and Rogan did this on his podcast, is uh, Connor times this left, and it comes right down the middle, goes right through the guard, right into his chin, and that's what wobbled him and sent him going. Okay. And I could see that happening in the fight. Really? If he lands that one. It's a, it's a fucking timing thing. It's okay. a very specific, like, poomph. But if he gets that, it's, it's there. Really? It's there. That's why Dane and everyone's like, oh, he's gonna knock out Floyd, this and that. That's his 0.01% right there. You don't think you don't think that you don't think Floyd's talked to him and be like, hey, you're you're gonna lose. No. Like, you don't think it's a setup? <laughs> no. I mean, well, Floyd uh, would be crazy not to fucking set this I, I'm, up. I'm I'm half thinking it's a fix, but yeah. the other half of me thinks fix, that's a fucking phrase. Yeah. The fix is in. Yeah. I think they're too prideful to fake it. Yeah. Um and dude, I mean, but money's money, though. The amount of fucking money yeah. they're making out of this shit. Connor's a madman, though. He is. Like, when you see all the shit <clears throat> he says. Well, so that dude, Paulie, like, recently, like, he ran up on him, like, two days ago. And was like, you're a liar. This and that. And Connor walks right up to him in front of the camera. He's like, you got your ass whooped. Let it go. And then, like, walked away. Like, he would have fucking killed him right there. Because, dude, <sighs> here's the other thing. I don't Holy feel shit. that bad if Connor loses. Yeah. Because... If it was the other way around, Floyd has t- t- two seconds. Yeah. And he's out. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. MMA oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Murder yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't really feel badly either way. Huh. You're going to buy it? Yeah. What are you going to do? I think we're going to buy it. I think we're going to have a party here if you want to yeah. come. I think we're going to have a little party. Oh, we're also, uh, we'll talk about this after, actually. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're going to wrap this up <laughs> now, guys. If you want to see us live, hit the link in the description and tell me where. Please do that because, uh, and if you would actually come, then do that. Yeah, do it. Um, follow the Twitter. You know, it's at insanely underscore chill at Cody Co. Follow his YouTube, Noel Miller. Follow him on fucking Twitter. All that. Instagram. The I'd whole be thing. tweeting. Go to his Instagram. Wish him happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Do that. I'm 21, guys. <clears throat> and keep it real. Have a good Sunday. Later. Peace.